shield keep you warm? That's <laughs> the new Dick Bacon. Over. All right. Uh, turn Guess it's time. <laughs> Turkey, I got it for you. Here we go. Uh, 32 degrees uh, for your high here in Milwaukee, 25 in Green Bay, but no major concerns across the Midwest here. We do have a couple flurries, a little bit of light snow. I'm going to show you in a second, but uh, again, not a major concern. I think the roads are just going to be fine and really overall across the country. Look at some of these big hubs here. Not a big issue for today. DC cold though, 22 degrees and uh, look at the expected flight delays here. Not much all green uh, little Plains there, so we're looking good. A little bit of light snow, maybe in northern New England, but about that, uh, really across the country, we've had way worse on the day before. Uh, yeah, I was going to say Christmas, but Easter. What is this? This going on here? Is that like a? What's going on here? This is <laughs> this is Waukesha Skycam. Yeah. So I don't That's know. right there in the river. You <laughs> seen it freeze up with this dragonfly on here? Or what, what's going on here? Firefly. Did I call it firefly. Yeah. Okay. Big dragonfly. <laughs> All right. Here we go. 27 degrees. I guess I should have. I should have checked the sky cams before I went on. Uh, northeast wind at seven miles per hour. It's cold in Waukesha. 30 degrees in Milwaukee. Wind chill at 20. North northwest wind at 13 miles per hour and across southeastern Wisconsin. Temperatures are mainly in the 20s to around lower 30s. Again, Kenosha at 31, West Bend at 27, Fond du Lac at 25 degrees. Your weather headlines as we head into the holiday. Staying cold. Temperatures are going to be way below normal today and again tomorrow. Then we start to warm up, but then I think our weather starts to get active too. Friday night and into Saturday morning, good chance of rain. And then as we head into Sunday, we could start as rain, but maybe change the snow Sunday night. All right, storm four max radar across southeastern Wisconsin. We're dry except for maybe a stray flurry. There's an area of very light snow setting up to the west of Madison. A little bit of this may push in, but a lot of the computer models break it apart. I switched over to the HRRR model, which is a different computer model than we typically use, and it does show a little bit of that light snow moving through. This is 230. PM and again the possibility of a few snowflakes, very light snow or flurries, not expecting any accumulation. By 9 PM, uh, you can see again we're looking at a lot of clouds, maybe a few stray flurries, and then overnight tonight still a lot of clouds and maybe a few flurries heading into tomorrow morning. Again, not a big deal with these snowflakes, just you might notice them. All right, your forecast for today: 32 chance of light snow or flurries for tonight. Still a couple flurries possible in a low temperature: 25 inland, 20, and here's your seven-day. So we head on into Thursday. <laughs> 37 on Thanksgiving, 48 degrees on Friday, mostly cloudy. Again, rain moves in if you're mapping things out here for the weekend. Rain moves in Friday evening through Saturday morning. Then a break Saturday afternoon and for much of Sunday. It's Sunday afternoon that things get dicey. We start as rain, but there's a chance that changes over to some snow Sunday night and into Monday. That system is going to be worth watching, especially if you have travel plans on the tail end of the weekend. We'll be right back.